the door to the maintenance area. Heavy load of it fine layer dust and leaking oil underneath. The loader appears to have been unused for a long time. What a surprise. The locked freight elevator seems to be the only way out of this level. But it is locked. So certainly we cannot go there yet. Information terminal. Level lockdown. Security lockdown? Must be why there's nobody here. Maybe they were evacuated. Hmm. Maintenance area, but there is a way here. Your bar of choice does it again. Empty. Fuck, I just... Where the hell is everyone? Either gone or dead. Like the one person next to you was quite clearly at least dead. Tree. The brittle leaves from the dead tree have long since fallen to the ground. Admin computer buzzes on the desk awaiting input from a user. Huh. Well, that's interesting, Kane Corporation. No idea what this is all about. Employee summary. Hmm. So, administration terminal rope. Bert Freely, General Administrator Officer. Notifications to all general crew members, product storage security. Well, let's start from the beginning, Administration Terminal. Okay, maybe that, not then that. Robert Freely, General Administration Officer. Hmm. Let's have a look into other things first. Notification to all general crew members. Zero lockdowns. Just a note to remind all crew that a lockdown system... I don't like those noses. <laughs> but I assume we're safe. And I don't need to be worried that something is creeping upon us while we're looking into this. Just a note to remind all crew that the lockdown system is still connected to storage tanks. If the system locks down, you can falsify a leak and it will reset. Okay. Okay, bathrooms. The bathrooms are now in a working order. Beaters will be back on duty in four ships rotations. Well, that's great, I guess. Product storage security. Alright. This says which door is locked and which isn't. Office uh, door unlocked. Unlocked. Infirmary maintenance door is locked. For some reason, product storage bay 1 was unlocked, but product storage bay 2 door is damaged. Please call maintenance. So the door next to the storage bay we came from is locked. Main freight elevator locked. Well, nice. hey. Maintenance door is unlocked. Lock will be engaged in three hours. Okay. So I was I'm able to unlock one place. This of course I cannot and this of course, well, would be surprising if I could unlock that. Product storage security. Uh, the Robert Freely General Minister and Officer Security Systems. Security told us 14 days ago that they'd be rewiring the lockdown systems. So for two weeks we've had to deal with random system shutdowns. Two days ago, Peters was locked into a bathroom while it flooded, and we only got him out this morning. I'm just thankful this didn't happen last Tuesday when Hydroponics had to screw up with the poisoned mushrooms or we would have been painted in the walls of the elevators in transit to the crew level bathrooms. Great. Security systems maintenance was down here for the final rewiring of the lockdown systems. It's all working except they crossed wires with the central product storage systems. Every single time a leak is reported in the storage tanks, the system resets instead of auto sealing the leak. It's nothing we can deal with in the short term. I know it's going to take forever to get them back down here to fix this. New doctor complaint. The new doctor in charge of cracking pots has complained about the surgical pot. Something about the tool selection. I told him just to lock a complaint with maintenance like the rest of us and hope something happens. He was not impressed. 
<laughs> Surprising. Intriguing. Sounds. New personal request. I spoke to Sarah Salvatore, a nurse in product storage, about getting in some new personnel to help with the open of new stasis spots. The last nurse left due to the emotional stress. I guess she had a breakdown when they cracked the pot and there was a kit inside. I assume that might have been our our kid. In all honesty. Just like what happens if a pot is cracked and there is a kid inside then and or a person inside anyways. Don't trust that a lot. Ah, uh, the radio is set to auto scan, picking up various transmissions. All sort of weird transmissions, yes. Desk clamp. Woo, that's going to be really helpful. But hey, at least it works. Crime cover in it. Dark monitors, facing the dark monitors. Yes. Classes of information stream down the wall mounted display. The bright red wall mounted box reads in case of emergency break class. Well, I was thinking that that's probably going to be something we can do. And the note inside the empty emergency box reads due to budget cuts, the fire axe has been replaced with this note. Have a nice day. Well, that's uh, not helpful to us though. I really wasn't hoping to find just something like a note like that. Who needs sleep? Refreshingly addictive Chuka Cola by Kane Corporations. I don't think I like the Kane Corporations. Hey, this is the bathrooms. That's lovely. Or, okay, we can sit and be all sad Ooh. about our life. If you're alive, and so are they. You can hope, but I have a bad feeling. Maybe one is alive, but considering the kit was mentioned, I, I'm not very trusting about that. The fabric pattern all but indistinguishable. Well, let's go and visit in the bathroom before going to the maintenance. Because why not? What does this say? I have no idea. I can't read that. Well, not easily anyways. <sighs> A metal sink stained by the trip, trip, trip of blood. Well, that's lovely. Well, at least you can get a little bit of a water. A standard metal sink. Caked in soap and dirt. Well, they work. Water stain streaked down the wall. Metal sink. A clean metal sink. Well, it's clean. Maybe we can use it for something. Better. Toilet. A filthy wet towel blocks the hole on the toilet for some reason. Surprisingly clean. Flossing won't clean this metal toilet bowl of the rust that has accumulated over the years. Well, that's great. We can use the toilet too. Good to know the important stuff keeps on working. Hmm. Very, very, very good to know that. I'd assume it's still open. Hey, can we use glass shard? A knife like shard sits among the pieces of shattered glass. Oh, we can have that. Damn it. Cut myself. Huh. Well, we have the M, the Hypronus, the Instant, and the Shard of Glass. I don't know what I was thinking there. I don't know either what I was thinking there, but maybe we can or have a need for it somewhere. But yes, the maintenance door is actually open right now, so that's good. So we can head inside there. Warning. Air filtration system offline. Toxicity increasing to dangerous level. Um... The large red wheel might have a chance of turning if you give it all you... if it your all. Come on, old man. If you can't... 
do that, then we might have to just... You can't. Okay, just keep doing it and you can do it. I'd assume that should be helping. To not have a toxicity level like that. Or is it going to kill us when we go here? Who knows? I don't know. I think you're doing badly in there. So it would need something like a gas mask or something before going in there, I guess. It didn't help that we just did that. I assume because uh, at least you wear a cacking like you wouldn't be able to survive down there. Huh, wonder what I could do then to... Damn it. Locked. Yes, and we would have to get there to be able to, well, go anywhere, basically. Hmm, but I didn't see anything else over here, right? Just gonna do triple double checking. Of course, it's a good question. Where could we use the shadow class? That's a good question. Where would we have a use for it? But yeah, this is the storage bay that is locked and should go to call to maintenance about it. Huh. Let's go and check just back here quickly for a short moment or so. But yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's anything else to interrupt. Hmm, yeah. Terminal, Jackson P, yeah. Tire tube malfunction. I'd assume that it's most likely the case that we were not supposed to be even a really alive or... Well, we've been completely at least forgotten anyways, was sure. There's, uh, I don't know why it broke for us. So that we could free from here, we might just as well be dead. Uh, hmm, wonder, wonder what I'm supposed to do, as such there is the full systems here. Hello? Why did do that? The heavy metal door stands unmoving, occasionally emitting a mechanical hum as the servers and motors attempt futilely to move it open. So, like, someone might have wanted to try to open it at some point in the far away future, or past. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Like, I, this is the only thing that I could think about do, trying to do with the Shard of Glass right away. No, that won't work. Yeah. I didn't really expect it to work. I don't know why it would work. <laughs> it would be sort of weird if it did, but... I just sort of had to check. Um, I assume I have no use for it here it. either. Yep. Nothing with the bed this either. Yes, I know. I know, I know. Hmm. Is there anything I would need here? Does the robotic arm have some sort of a use? Green, uh, just a gray light. Let's see what the, this does. <sighs> Add to surgery logs. Product B, so well operator Dr. K. Essels. Procedure, cranial bone extraction for sigma labs. Note, last surgery completed before spec of surgery lockdown. Product expired during surgery, but bone extraction was successful. Yay. Additional notes by Dr. K. Sells. The neural trill is stuck again. Every time I try to change it, the arm retracts. Please gain maintenance sound to fix it. Who was that? 
That's a surgery prep. Please choose surgical requirement below to extract arm and refit tool. Huh. High speed neural trail selected organ extraction skin harvesting products spinal tacking. But yeah, they they were not up to good in this place for sure. <laughs> So, every time I try to change it, the arm retracts. The neural trail is stuck again. Neural trail, yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlocked and open. All right. The arm for automated herbal session is retracted. Like I'm. Okay, it went back to the neural trail. Skin harvesting. Something that would break. It always like retracts. Huh. Mechanism that holds a neural trail in place is unlocked and open. So what if we took the electricity off from it right now? Then it wouldn't have the electricity to go away, right? Yay! What is it that I caught? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. High speed neural drill. I think that would break. I would like to just like have some more information about it to be honest. <laughs> I guess the drill should be able to work to the door. Don't know. Don't know. Hmm. Let's just put the life support active again, because I just feel safer when there's life support active. But I would assume that this would allow us to get into there. At least it's a guess. I think that would break. All right, fine. Well, what am I supposed to do with it then? I can't add this together or something. Mm, work. Well, neither do I. I but I just. Well. I don't just know what I should be doing here. Hmm. Well, I caught another part, yes, but what to do with it is a different question. No power, it's not gonna work. <sighs> like I'm wondering what is making the noises exactly. Heavy loader, but there's like nothing else said about it, so it doesn't work like that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Floor lights. Seems standard for this level, but why is it flickering? Why is it flickering like that? So is there anything I could be trying to do here? Hmm. I don't know. I can't get into here, right? Nope. Various transmissions. And I still don't trust that we would be okay to just go there, but let's just save the game before I go and kill myself or something. Somewhere. Because that's very well possible if I try to go into the, that possibly cast invested area. But that is basically done. I don't need this for anything over here. Sort of obviously enough. Let's see, is this okay or is it very, very, very bad? It seems to be okay now. PDA. 
entry prior engineer level one, it might have been that he would have said about how the gas was going away or some sort if I stayed here, but I was afraid that we might get cast. cast. Andrew here, it's about uh, 6 a.m. I'm absolutely exhausted. So this is the most advanced scientific research ship in existence, huh? Pulls it. I've seen I've been here for only three months and now I know why the previous guy quit. Laser equipment, steam wind circuit breakers, everything has at least one serious design flaw. Not only are the coolant systems capable of failing, they're capable of at least four different types of fault. And I can only spot two of them in advance. That's really bad. This ship's been running for 50 years and nobody bothered to do any upgrades. Bottom line, the casing are shoddy and they're going to need months of work to make them 100% safe. I've also pulled a muscle in my shoulder trying to rotate the pressure release valve. The pastor needs to be turned three goddamn times. I noticed that. <laughs> three yucca for every 20 punches. Yucca. That's a name. Only valid at the... Titty Twister? Terms and conditions apply read the back. Alright. Simmons volunteered to be a research subject. And something has been over with him since he got back from the labs. I don't want to report him to security, but I'll keep an eye on him. Fucking research departments, can't they use monkeys like everyone else? Apparently not. October 18. CSEC sent me down to the ass end of the ship to fix the fluid storage vats again. Not too long ago, other vats malfunctioned and started spraying that acidic shit all over the place. The bulkheads locked down and then the entire maintenance crew dissolved. The only, they only found teeth. I'm not going home in a jar, so I've killed the security system lockdown. If that thing so much as pisses that assist in my direction, the system will reset all the security procedures. Safety first. Well, yeah, if there is that sort of a problems, no really wonder. Crates, the empty crate, empty bar coated crates have been stacked untidily against the wall. Hmm. Anything of useful here, though? System failure, system failure, system failure, system failure. Everything is system failure. Fluid tanks. The sound of bubbling liquid resonates inside the huge fluid storage tanks. Lovely. Oh. There's plenty of system failures. Nothing to interact with though. Quite clearly enough. But is there anywhere for me to then go? I don't see anything. And like, it doesn't seem that there's anything to find or investigate in these stacks of crates or anything. Like, the only thing that is of more inter interest is the PDA. But it only has a little bit of information, not really anything else. Fluid tanks, wires and pipes. Mm, back and of the fluid storage containers into a large opening in the wall. Well, not like we're going to get into that opening or something, so it's again a bit of no help, really. Unless I should just have the power on while just generally power. But yeah, there's not anything else here, so... Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest, and that's not really of help. I was hoping that we find some sort of a... I don't know, drill or something here somewhere. So that we could use it. To get to that one area. Which is locked and... Everything on the way. Back. Yeah, it was a complaint about it. Told him just a lock complaint maintenance like the rest of us and hope something happens. About the surgical pod. Tool selection. Yeah, like, okay, this 
was a hint to the medical robot arm. Fine, but what do I do with the part that I got? Hmm. Uh, lockdown systems, it's all working except they crossed wires with the central product storage systems. Mm. The system resets instead of auto sealing the leak. I know it's going to take forever to get Can them back down here to fix this. So should I try to cause a leak so that the systems would reset? Huh. To help with the opening of new stasis response of the last nurse left to the emotional trust, yeah. Right, that could be something, but the question then is more like, can I use either the class or the other one, and then can I use them safely? I don't think there's anything in the bathroom, so... Well, I, I guess that's at least an idea to try to have a look. So let's just head back on in and see if I, I can try to do something. Cause a leak. I wonder what would be the best way to cause a leak. Mm, I don't think that'll work. It doesn't work like that. Can I make a leak like this? At least you don't say anything negative about that soap. Yay, there's a leak of horrible stuff. Attention, system rebooted. Air scrubbers activated. We probably should be leaving from here. Yeah, I guess so. But then we probably should be heading off from here. I think. And we have no idea what is in the other area. But okay, the elevator is open. So yeah, just connecting those two dots. Making a... Like, it just was a question. I thought that it wouldn't work for it when it didn't work for this place. But... I don't know. I would like to know first. Yeah, this is still locked. Hmm. Well, I guess we might be going back to it later on because at least I have no knowledge how to try to open it. But we can get to the elevator. The unlocked rain elevator is faded in a soft green light. But that is going to be left for the next time. So I hope you did enjoy and thank you for watching. I did have fun with it thus far at least. So... See you next time.